Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and to another episode of Budget RC. This morning my friend Faik and I, we were at Hampshire County RC Club and they had a swap meet. This is in Hadley, Massachusetts, we had to drive a little bit. But it was all worth it because we got ourselves great deals. What I got was four airplanes and these are all brand names. And this is from Twisted Hobbies. And I looked it up, it's a 35 inch wingspan crack turbo beaver. I don't know why they call it crack, but it looks kind of funky as you see, but it is super light and it looks like it can do 3D flight as well as just a park flying. And I'm just going to need the properly sized battery as well as a prop for this. So I'm going to take this over here and hopefully I'll be out in the park flying it in about 15 minutes and here is the model information on their website this is 35 inch wingspan EPP crack turbo beaver in red and it looks like it requires either two or three cell lipo battery so I have uh, plenty of uh, two cell batteries between 360 and 640 milliamp hours and with the two cell battery they are recommending 9 by 4.7 prop and I have the perfect prop for that which is these from GWS props I think these are the correct size let me take one out and double check here we go uh, what does it say 0947 yes it's the correct one so I have these short rubber bands I looped them up one time and then went around and I used two rubber bands and this should be good enough Unfortunately, there is no access, easy access to the receiver inside. I cannot even tell what it is. At least the builder fortunately put a location for the bind plug. This is an extension for the bind plug. Since Spectrum radios receive a bind plug to bind, I'm assuming this is Spectrum. So I'm going to plug this in. Okay, a moment of truth. I had to pull the extension cable out where it was stuck. So I was able to put the bind plug in and I have a battery. So all is set, everything is working. This model is using, I use the auto function on the TS, uh, TX16S and it automatically reverted to DSM2 at one, one time frequency. So everything is all good. I just need to determine the center of gravity on this one and make sure that the battery that I use, whichever I use, is uh, keeping the airplane balanced. So the manual says the CG needs to be 2.187 inches away from the leading edge and that corresponds to when you measure it, that corresponds to where this uh, servo starts, that it, um, servo wire is, so that's about the right place. And I put this Turnergy battery over here, someone already cut a hole for it and it just fits perfectly. This is 460 milliamp hour two cell battery and then when I do that you know it is uh, right on the spot it's like maybe very very slightly nose heavy and for this plane I would like to have especially in the, in the first couple of flights to have it a little nose heavy so I think we are all ready to go outdoors and test it out before we lose all the daylight all right folks we are in the local park it's almost 7 p.m. but we still have daylight I love when the days start getting longer and everything set up, I put, I set it right now to 40% uh, rate, so I have triple rates, for, this is 40%, this is 70%, this is 100%, so I'm going to take off at 40%, and hopefully it will be a good maiden flight. Okay, so that, that troll was not enough. 40% was not enough. Barely took off and then I need to trim it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get into the goal. Again, this doesn't, this is aerobatic, so. <laughs> uh, and as you can tell from my hand, probably, I am uh, putting a lot of uh, up elevator. So, yeah, it needs to be trimmed quite a bit. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down and then just land it and then give a lot of up elevator trim because 
Uh, minimum trim reach. I may have to do trimming mechanically, I guess. Let's do another flight. Let's see if this trim is going to be enough. Okay. Okay, so this is a little better. And I can already tell like from the way it moves, I mean this is, this likes to be flown like 3D. It is still like if I let go. It is the nose is coming down a little bit as you can see. These uh, angle of attack because you know this profile foam wings and that battery is in pretty good I mean this is I don't think I can hang from the or maybe I almost almost hang from the <laughs> from the prop almost It's a nice and gentle. Uh, rudder doesn't have too much authority. I'm trying to give coordinated turns. I have to put, probably increase the rudder authority a little bit. And as, as you can see, I think it's a little uh, too no heavy, maybe. But it's nice and gentle. I mean, it is touchy, but it flies nice and gentle, like a park flyer. Not, it doesn't go too fast. Just my <laughs> right thumb is getting a little tired because of the constant pressure to give up elevator. And I'm going to set it to 100% rate. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really aerobatic. Let's see how the roll rates are. Uh, not not stellar, but still not bad either. The loops are a little tighter than than the rolls. And does it does it like to fly upside down? Let's check it out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think it flies equally well. It looks like look. And then this time I'm just putting. <laughs> down elevator to keep it like that. Yeah, <laughs> it is a win. It's definitely a great uh, budget RC deal for thirty dollars. I just bought it a couple hours ago, and it's already flying with the battery that I put in and bound to my Radio Master TX16S. And I'm already getting comfortable enough to you know, bring it closer to the ground, closer to myself. And I can probably use this as a 3D trainer. I just need to fix that that balance uh, CG center of gravity a little bit. Maybe just move it a little to the tail, or maybe give a little bit more up elevator trim mechanically. I can almost like do like Harriers without any, any effort, let's see. Let's not hit that goal post. Doesn't want to fly towards the wind, so that's that's kind of telling me maybe it's not. That nose heavy. And that uh, makeshift rubber band uh, prop holder is doing okay. Yeah, easy to control. You just have to be on the stick all the time. This doesn't have any, any stability control. It's all manual, baby. It's all like old, old, good old days. All manual. Okay, I think uh, that's enough. And a nice landing, a perfect way of ending a flight. One piece, that's one piece. All right, folks, $30. You can always find these kind of great budget RC deals. 
if you just spend a little bit of time and you'll also meet great people so this morning this was a steal in my opinion very nice it is selling just the kit is selling for uh, about hundred dollars on twisted hobbies and for the just the power uh, package they're asking another 145 so that's on 250 dollars and uh, it didn't even, doesn't even include the receiver and somebody spent probably hours if not tens of hours building this and i'm just reaping the benefits i got it for 30 bucks put a little bad that i already have bound it to my radio mass 6 tx 6s and flying on the same day so this is what this hobby is about this is what our budget rc episode are about showing you something that you can get at a reasonable price very reasonable price and fly and have fun or just grow your fleet i hope you like this video if you do please give us a thumbs up even if you didn't like please don't hit that dislike just don't watch it you know you will know our channel and we are always honest with our reviews so please if you are watching it even if you like uh, first i don't know two minutes just give us a like our channel is growing uh, almost uh, reaching 2500 subscribers we are still small we don't get sponsored we don't have any patrons uh, we are not monetizing our channel at least yet so this is all done with our own money my kids are helping me sometimes my wife and we are just trying to have fun and share our hobby with you guys thank you very much for watching stay safe and healthy hope to see you on the next video take care bye bye